to our first place winner, S. Charities Bakery. Finally um, reached out to me, gave me her uh, shipping information. And as y'all can see there, S. Charities, if you're watching, Brooklyn, New York, be on the lookout. Back here again, man. Um, I thought I was just gonna go to the post office, mail out um, the giveaway winner's prize. But this place, right here this GameStop it's always calling me big shout out to my guy Ryan man always looking out I'm dressing grimy a day I don't care Air Max 97 on feet well we're finally home back in the studio GameStop pickup successful let's check that out that's what I was telling you guys had a bunch of stuff I need to go through but we about to put a little dent in it today so stay tuned let me set up the camera turn on the studio light and we're gonna get it popping hey what's popping again everybody it's your boy samaj we back with another one salute to y'all for checking back in um as y'all see we back in the studio dropping another video see behind me we're missing a prize up there that's because s charity bakery finally replied back to me gave me her shipping uh, shipping information and uh just got done sending that out and um the only prize that's left up there is the lion king box from hot topic now that is going to the second place winner which is the field pop uh the field pop bro you haven't replied back to me yet i'm gonna need you to hurry up and reply back to me um you have 48 hours for my last uh, reply to your comment on that video so please get back to me um, again if you don't reply back within 48 hours I'll assume that you want to forfeit uh, that prize and then we'll it'll just go to somebody else we'll do another um, uh, random comment picker but yeah man so as charity once again congratulations um, be on the lookout for that uh, package and I did add a little something extra for you in there, you know, just to show my appreciation for supporting this channel. But if you guys want to um, check out S Charity Bakery, uh, she does have her own channel. She does she does a lot of things actually. Um, there's a a lot of variety to her channel. It's you know a little bit of something for everyone. Whether I think she has some food contents in there. Then she got some unboxing. She um, doing, uh, you know, she's getting into the toy, the uh, the toy reviews and whatnot. So go ahead and check her out if you guys want to. Uh, she wants to do the um, unboxing to th that giveaway on her video. So if you guys would like to, I'll drop a link to her channel in the description, and uh, maybe you guys will catch that unboxing of that giveaway prize. But again, she did choose the icy Viserian, and I hope. You enjoy that S Charity dope figure. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get into this GameStop pickup. Like I said, I didn't even I was even um planning on going to GameStop today. But uh the homie Ryan, who's the manager over there at that GameStop, <laughs> that dude stayed texting me and, and, and hitting me up, you know, letting me know what's uh what just got delivered and that is available. So I'm not taking anybody's pre order stuff, it's just what's you know, what's available, what's extra. Then he asked me if I wonder or not. And then if I want it, he'll hold on to it for me. So Ryan knows what I collect and what I don't collect, but he'll still message me just in case, you know. Um, there's been a lot of stuff that I had, um, you know, said no to, but this one certain action figure, um, I actually had my eye on it since I've seen um, glam shots of it for the past couple months, and I have seen reviews on it, and you know there was there's a lot of um, mixed emotion with the reviews I've seen. But maybe I'll do my own review on it um, in a future video. But let me go ahead and show you what action figure that was um, available at GameStop for me to pick up. And that figure is, boom, it's Wolverine. This is his uh, X Factor or X Force, his um, X Force costume. Where he's um, where it's black and a very light blue, almost silver really, or gray. I would say it's gray. 
but yeah you got Wolverine from uh, X-Force now I didn't really mean it to uh, really collect X-Force or anything but I do need a Wolverine in my collection and I think this overall the overall scope on this is uh, better than past Wolverines especially the claws I've seen reviews on the claws that claw right there is solid and I'll do a review on this uh, one of these days after I get through all this stuff over here but yeah that's my pickup from GameStop this is going to the collection uh, you guys uh, if you guys have seen the you know, previous video I'll drop a card up so you guys can see that I am collecting uh, for Marvel Legend wise and, and Marvel in general with action figures I'm collecting X-Men characters only uh, I do understand that this is X-Force but um, Wolverine is an X-Men and who knows I mean my girlfriend does customs so I might change that whole outfit up and change it to um you know either black or yellow or blue or yellow on that outfit he has on so stay tuned for that that might happen now I uh, SDCC had just passed that's over with I'm so glad that's over with now I've seen pictures of um, future uh, future Marvel Legend releases and they are doing a three pack with the X-Men now that's the three pack of Wolverine Jean Grey and Cyclops Jean Grey and Cyclops, I, I already do need. And then Wolverine, I, I did need before I picked this up. But I still might pick it up anyway. Just in case I do want to keep them like this. And then just have another Wolverine as the X-Men Wolverine. So, um, that's being pre-ordered. I think the release on that one is in December sometime. Um, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out, uh, I believe it's Entertainment Earth. That's doing the pre-order right now. And I do uh, recommend you guys pre-order it now before you know December come around, and then that become that's gonna become a sought after collection, um, sought after uh, figure right there for someone's collection. So with it being Christmas, you know the month of Christmas, December, um, jump on that, secure yours now, because those will sell out. I think it's, it's actually dope. Uh, I've seen the figures, I've seen the pictures of the figures, haven't seen review on it yet, I haven't seen no unboxing of those figures yet, but the way they're looking so far. They're looking pretty good. They're looking solid. So let's go ahead and jump to this next pickup from GameStop. So these pops are not for me. It's for my girlfriend. Um, we were out yesterday, you know, um, just going around Hot Topic and um, and um, comic and stuff to see what they got. And I did pick up the other uh, Dark Phoenix from comic and stuff. Like I said, I was. And then we're going to do a, um, a comparison with the PX Preview one, the uh, the so-called limited one so I'll drop that in another video but um, we went out to Hot Topic and then my girlfriend saw some um, Hocus Pocus Pops now it's weird that um, the Hocus Pocus Pops uh, they only released um, two of the Sanderson sisters uh, if you guys follow Hocus Pocus um, it's the three witches so like I said they were um, releasing the two sisters for like a maybe a week now um, I know I know they released it the Sanderson sisters or two of the Sanderson sisters, Sanderson sisters before SDCC and that's uh, Winifred and um, Sarah so those were the two sisters that was widely available but for some reason Mary um, I don't know it was delayed shipment or this has sold out but we couldn't find it in store anywhere um, so when I went out to GameStop to pick up Wolverine, I decided to go look at their pop section just to see, you know, just see what's available. And there's a pop that I'm looking for, but I'll, sh I'll share that with you guys in, in another video. Uh, but I was looking through the collection, and then um, guess who I saw? Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus, the one sister my girl my girlfriend's missing from yesterday pickup. So there's the wave back there, the three Sanderson sisters. You got Winifred, Sarah, and then now we have uh, Mary. Mary has a bowl of cheese puff, I believe, from the movie. So she'll be happy that she, uh, my girlfriend will probably be happy now that she complete that wave of Pocus Pocus. I don't think she's gonna be going after the movie moments or anything like that. She just wanted the three sisters individually and then she are she is collecting it out of box so that's coming out of box so it don't matter how the box looks 
but from what I'm seeing right now, it's looking good. There's no box damage. You know, Hocus Pocus, Disney. And then the last pickup. This is a big pickup. I mean, I, I didn't expect to get it, but um, Ryan showed it to me. Uh, I looked at it. I'm like, dang. Um, I don't collect this series what my girlfriend does but she collects the you know the four inch ones she even got a she even got a six inch one but we went to go we went ahead and picked up another pennywise for her she has a total of one two three I believe three pennywise now two older ones two older exclusive ones and then um the one with the tongue sticking out, the one you guys have seen in the previous video, the Funhouse Pennywise. So she said she was done with Pennywise. It's too much Pennywise for her. But how is she gonna say no to this? <laughs> Dude, this is the 10 inch Pennywise. I didn't even know this was gonna um this was releasing. I didn't know at all. This this kind of threw me off when I saw it. Um Ryan at GameStop told me he only had two available. Uh, he didn't even put it out in display. He still had it out back. He just had unboxed it, all these pops. Like Mary Sanderson, he, he just had this, he just got this in today in his shipment. And um, again, he only had two of these for some reason. Like there was only two Mary Sanderson. So I'm not, I don't know why this is so hard to acquire. I mean, it's not exclusive. Uh, I don't see why it would be limited. But anyways, back to Pennywise. This is a 10 inch Pennywise here. And believe it or not, this is our first 10 inch in our collection, y'all. Our first. This thing is humongous. Um, we are waiting on another 10 inch for her collection. Uh, my girlfriend is still waiting on her pre-order for her 10 inch Ursula. But I went to go ahead, I went ahead and uh pulled the trigger on this one. This is from the new it chapter 2 movie so this is part of that new wave but even though it's part of the new wave looks like it's a a previous design of one of the old ones because he is holding um, the Georgie's um, paper boat so even though it's the same design you could tell that the, um, the head scope and everything even the color of the hair and his outfit are more in line with the new wave design so again it's it from chapter two but this is the um the one where it's holding georgie's uh, paper boat which um tells you that it's from part one but it's part of this uh chapter two wave as y'all see there and again you have your bloody balloons on your um where the numbers are so yeah we'll see um how we're gonna um display this might do it out of box but i think it's dope i would hate to uh, walk in the room at night and see this standing in the middle of the hallway or something so we'll, we'll see what we'll do with it so that was the gamestop pickup three items ran through it really quick um, we will do a unboxing and review on Wolverine I don't I can't tell you guys when yet cuz there's so much going on right here in front of me so I don't even know where to start um, you know what I think I should get into all these packages um, I need to confirm that everything that's in it is what I've ordered and um exactly what uh was described especially on the ebay um uh, uh, on the ebay orders because you know that you know um ebay sellers they give you a description on um, what to expect so i want to confirm that everything is legit with what they had described on their um on their posting when they sold it so i have a couple ebays um i got a hot topic package and then oh matter of fact my little brother, my little brother Johnny, 
he did give me something i don't know where he ordered it from but i think i'm going to jump into that first just to make sure that that's legit because he never ordered funko pops and whatnot before so when he saw the pop he knew that i was looking for it um for to add them to my collection so he jumped on it for me um hey big shout out to you low bro uh for picking this up for me but we need to confirm if it's legit hopefully it's not a uh, you know something that's um sold from china or it's you know just i mean pretty much let's hope that's not fake so that box is all the way in the bottom of this pile because it was one of the first um packages that i received um right before sdcc so give me a minute guys i'm gonna dig into this pile and grab that box and then i'll probably just um separate the boxes in order and then we'll just unbox it from there so just give me a brief moment and i'll be right back okay we're back um here's the package it's written fragile all over this box so we're gonna um unbox it i already know what it is it's um it's gonna go to a collection that i had just recently started uh you guys have seen a previous video where i did a mystery box from who was it from I think it was from Big Apple Collectibles where I pulled that Sasuke, the cursed Mark Sasuke Funko Pop out of that um, out of that mystery box, and I ended up keeping it. I actually took him out of the box um, just because the box was damaged already. So I decided to collect that um, that that line that or that series out of the box. So my little brother, he's he's always been a supporter of this channel since I started on day one. Um, he. There's no reason for him to drop comments or get into giveaways and whatnot because whatever he needs, all he gotta do is ask and I'll, um, I'll provide it for him. So, you know, he's always watching my videos, he's always um, supporting the channel, and um, he got me a package, you know, just <laughs> for the channel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Again, it's a Naruto Pop um, from, I think it's from the first wave as well. Uh, he told me what it is already, but you guys don't know what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and, and check out the pop, make sure it's legit. And again, uh, no matter what condition it is in box, um, I'm still gonna take it out of box because just be, I mean just because um, I already had took Sasuke out the box and I already um, told myself that. When I do start this collection, that I don't even care how much they cost, you know, on the um, flipper market, it, it could be it could be like this a holy grail that costs X amount of dollars. Um, I don't care. It's gonna be out of box because it's in my collection, and this is how I'm gonna collect this this lineup. So, dope packaging. You got paper. You got a sorter box so whoever whoever sold this knew what they were doing actually comes with a card so it says thank you Johnny Johnny's my little brother by the way and this is from like a legit business y'all so the pop plug uh, I'm, I never heard of them before. If you guys heard of them, let me know. Are they are they a legit company? But yeah. So the pop that he got me is the pop I, I did I mentioned um, on that video when I um, this, when I told you that I was gonna collect the Naruto wave. Now not everything in Naruto wave, but the characters that I was actually looking for. So here it is. That's Kakashi. With the lightning blade dope pop man kakashi is one of my favorite one of my favorite character in the show man in the manga in the anime so this is from the naruto shippuden uh, my girlfriend is not a big fan of the shippuden uh series because uh you know naruto has grown a little more grown in that um in that series she loved the original naruto when he was still a kid, you know, going through his exam or whatnot. I mean, she loved it so much. I don't even know you guys can see it back there. But we do have a kid Naruto back here. 
that she just picked up yesterday. This is a Grandista uh, statue. It came with um, interchangeable faces, two more I believe. So this is actually her pickup from yesterday's um, toy hunt or pop hunt. So yeah, you got Naruto. But anyways, back to the pop. This is actually a mint box too. But again, I'm gonna collect them out of box. It is a Hot Topic exclusive. It's from that wave there. And I mean, it is a fairly old pop. Um, well, shoot, it can't be that old unless it's a restock because I see um, a 19 down there, which means it's 2019 pop. But yeah, it might be a restock or you know, they, they um, made it again. So, like I said, dope pop. This is the Kakashi that I wanted, the one with the lightning blade. It's gonna go well with the. Uh, Sasuke up there in this curse in this um uh, curse marked. I remember that first video. I was like curse mask. I said curse mask like a thousand times in that video, but it's the curse marked Sasuke, and then we have Kakashi with the lightning blade. So I'm glad I'm glad I unboxed that one first. So that will lead me to my next unboxing, which is huh? I forgot which one it was actually. I think it was this one right here. So this comes in a in a shipping bag but there's a there's a box inside as well um, I think I'll need a knife for this so we're just gonna go ahead and rip right into it and I believe that this pop is a damaged box pop and I was okay with that when I bought it from eBay and you'll see why I was okay with it So we have a bag, a box within the bag. Um, wow, they even um, provide you know the, sh the shipping bubble wrap thingies. So they really protected this pot, which is awesome, but it's unnecessary because it is Naruto, Rasengan Naruto. And this is a damaged box, y'all. I'm aware of that. It is pretty beat up, as y'all see. There's rips, creases, tears, dents, all of the above. You know, um, the inbox collector's worst nightmare. So it's all beat up. But there's that wave again. So this is the Naruto Rasengan. And like I had mentioned, this is coming out of the box. So is um, Kakashi right there. So I don't care about that box. My thing is, it's with the figure. Now, here's the thing, guys. I didn't read this in the description, so I'm gonna might have to message back the seller. His um, the stand right here where it goes pegs to his back, so he'll be in that um, jumping motion. It literally broke off from where the peg is that peg is actually inside of that slot back there so that peg right there the tip of that peg is is broken off into his back um maybe that's not a big deal I believe I could just gorilla glue that back on or crazy glue whatever glue I have available and it might work still but um, let me go back to the seller, read his description again, see if he um, if he had mentioned about this being broken off. But yeah, man. Um, but if not, I'll, I might still keep it if uh, I'm able to glue that back on. But if I'm not able to glue it back on, I might have to go ahead and send it back. Again, that's going to be out of box if I decide to keep it. Kakashi will be out of box as well. So one more eBay pickup. This is from these people over here. Your favorite, your favorite T-shirt out of Florida. Um, 
they, 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 they don't sell just t-shirt they actually got some collectibles in there and they had a pop that I wanted that goes into another collection so this is not gonna be Naruto I do have a, another um, out of box collection that had recently started as well and if you guys have been following me been watching the videos you guys should know what other um, uh, Funko line I'm collecting or have recently collect started collecting so here it is the blue eyes white dragon from the Yu-Gi-Oh wave and this right here this this dragon right here completes the whole wave including the dark magician which is not pictured back here because it's a hot topic exclusive and this is gonna be out of box just like the rest of them if you guys can see up there in that baseball this uh, that baseball display case my Naruto and the uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh collection is in there already so that'll complete that and then Kakashi and uh, Naruto can join them and I'm not collecting that with whole wave it's just those three um, I might I might pick up Sakura her uh, later on down the line I'm not sure yet but the three that I wanted is now in the collection with Kakashi Naruto himself and then Sasuke and now we have the blue eyes white dragon to complete that Yu-Gi-Oh wave and um, this was actually the, the pop that I wanted um, before I picked up um, or actually um, Yugi I actually got him out of mystery box again from uh, Big Apples I believe and then I picked up Seto just because I have Yugi but I was more looking forward to collecting just all the monsters from um, the anime so there's the blue eyes he's pretty heavy it's pretty dope detail is great scope looks great on him so yeah I wonder if, I wonder if he could fit inside that display case because he looks kind of he looks kind of tall so that's all my eBay pickup and then my little brother's package as well I do have a hot topic pickup that I have bought online um, I took advantage of the hot cash that I had and um, ordered ordered these online because they weren't in store at the time so uh, you guys will see what we picked up from Hot Topic and these are not Funko Pop this is actually um, more statues just like you know the My Hero Academia type statues but they're not My Hero Academia they're from another anime and you guys know the two uh, anime and manga that I've been following most recently is My Hero Academia and then One Punch Man. So this is what we got. We have the Ben Presto DXF figure, One Punch Man, Saitama, and Genos. So we have Saitama here. You guys already know that he's been out for a while now. I just never, I never put a trigger and got him. Um, thought I'll just wait it out, see if he goes on sale, or you know, again wait for hot cash. But yeah, this is from Ben Presto. It's a DXF premium figure. And then the more recent of the um, of that lineup is this Genos. Also, a Ben Presto DXF premium figure. So I'll see there. Get inside the box. So yep, let's go ahead and uh, why don't we go ahead and just unbox these really quick, put them together. I'm gonna show you guys, and then we'll just display them back there. So where's my knife? Here it is. Tape three ways. Now Hot Topic, they don't um, they didn't package this really well, but I mean I don't it don't really matter to me too much because you know I'm, I'm not collecting the box these are all, all, all coming out and 
there will be um, display man it's pretty light now I don't own the DX the DX uh, DXF figure so I really don't know what to expect but it does look the same as a um, Age of Heroes um, you know from the Age of Hero lineup there's only two pieces the head the body is already intact and then this um the stand or the base plate so it's not much going on here just pop the head on put them on display case and they're ready for display if i get his head out a few moments later done and there he goes guys we got genos from One Punch Man. This is Saitama's Disciple. It's pretty much a cyborg. Dope. He's looking dope. Okay, let's put him up here with the McFarlane Toys Saitama. Let's go ahead and jump to the DXF Saitama. Hey. Again, I don't know what to expect. I haven't seen these out of box yet. So, same deal. Oh, never mind. It's not the same deal. You get his head, your base plate, his cape is separate. Um, then we have this stand. I'm thinking that's for the uh, for his cape, and then his body is fully intact as well. So bear with me. Get into this plastic. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time opening these up. One hour later. Two hours later. Several days later. So here we go, that actually took a um, longer than I expected. So yeah, that's it for the Saitama here. Um, again, it took me a while to put them together, like his cape here. I mean his head slid right in, but this, his cape here, there are some pegs, you have to slide it into his shoulder, you have to pull, stretch him out a little bit. And then um, I was confused on what this, this um, pole was for, but it's just to hold up that cape. So yeah, Saitama. Go ahead and put him up here with Genos. We got the Wave Vegeta. Um, I have a lot more of this stuff, y'all. But I gotta clean up, move some stuff around. Um, I'll save some more stuff for later videos. Uh, there's a lot, there's still a lot going on right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and sign out. Uh, video's getting long. It's a mess in front of me right now. So y'all know what to do, man. Smash the like button. Y'all like what y'all just saw. The feel pop. Comment, man. Let me know what's up. Um, do you want that prize? If not, just let me know. And uh, we'll do another um, comment or a random um, comment picker for that. And then um, we'll move on from there. But you got 48 hours to let me know what's going on. And then I'll forfeit your spot. And I'm going to choose another name anyway. So, everybody stay tuned, comment, let me know what y'all think about everything here, what we picked up, all these unboxings, um, the Naruto, the Blue Eyes, GameStop pickup, let me know what y'all think, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.